I think this is the 11th year that this has been happening and we let in dogs and their owners and they just get to go crazy and wild in the pool. It's at the end of the summer and uh, basically the pool's open to people the first half of the day and then the second half of the day we reopen it to the dogs. They tend to go crazy once they get inside. It's like they know what's going on and they know they're getting off leash and they're excited about it. fun to see all their little personalities and they range from you know huge Rhodesian Ridgebacks to tiny um, Chihuahuas. She likes it, she loves it, so we love it. I think she's probably feeling this is the best place on earth. And she probably doesn't know she's the smallest dog here. We won't tell her. So we, this first year for us to do it, we brought our dog in uh, Oakley um, and so it's kind of cool. There's a lot of dogs here. Really, really neat. It's just a lot of fun. This is our first year bringing our dog down, and uh, she's having a great time. So it's a good city tradition, I guess. I'm glad to be part of it. One dog, they were going down the slide this earlier on. <laughs> lots of balls, lots of toys. It's just a big dog party. Um, it is pretty unique to our community. The Pooch Plunge, uh, people look forward to this every single year. We have a, a dog loving community, and so that helps us out a lot. The cool thing is last year we were contacted by um, a place in Brazil because they were starting up a pooch plunge. So it was pretty exciting to share the story. There is a lot of dog hair in the filter by the end of the day. So that's why we close the pool after the pooch plunge. No, no people are allowed in until next season and the pool is cleaned twice before we reopen it.